U.S. jet fighter program has been at the pinnacle of aviation since the beginning, creating new technologies, breaking new barriers, and leading the front lines. Today, we'll look at the progression of the fighter jet from the first generation P-80 shooting star all the way up through the most modern F-35 Lightning and everything in between. Since man first invented the jet engine, they wanted to make it fly. First accomplished on the Messerschmitt, the first successful production jet was the P-80 Shooting Star. Built in 1945, this early fighter was designed with the Allison J-33 engine, pushing roughly 4,000 pounds of thrust and a top speed of 600 miles per hour giving it a major advantage over the propeller planes of the time. Armed with six M3 Browning machine guns, it became the first true fighter jet. First seeing combat in the early years of the Korean War, success was high early on. However, limitations began to show as the Russian advancements quickly made her obsolete. These limitations evolved into the newer, sleeker, and faster F-86 Sabre. The first supersonic, swept wing fighter jet in America. Designed to counter the Soviet MiG-15, the evolution proved beneficial. Although keeping the same six-gun Browning setup as the P-80, the frame and engine advancements made it the most successful jet of its time. Upgrading to the newer General Electric J-47 turbojet engine, top speeds could easily break the sound barrier. Despite this, Early on, the MiG-15 was superior to early F-86 models in ceiling, firepower, and acceleration. But with the Sabre's extreme speeds, as well as upgrades to the weapon systems, most American combat experienced pilots considered her far superior. With a MiG alley kill ratio of nearly eight to one, these speculations can't go unheard. Of the 41 American pilots who earned the designation of ace during the Korean War, all but one flew the F-86 Sabre, making it the most proficient and productive fighter of the war. But this wouldn't last. As the world forged into a new war, a larger war, aeronautical engineers pressed on, moving into the third generation, where payload was king, where the F-4 Phantom, probably the baddest plane ever, found its role, a multi-role. Designed to carry bombs and air-to-surface missiles, as well as expected to outperform in dogfights, this muscle car with wings lived up to expectations. Although twice the size and triple the weight of its predecessor, the newly developed twin engine system produced nearly five times the power, allowing her to more than double the speed of sound. Despite being encumbered by size and weight and lacking in maneuverability, the nearly 20,000 pounds of munitions gave a clear advantage over the skies of Vietnam. With advanced radar, Paired with the AIM-7 Sparrow and AIM-9 Sidewinder missiles, the F-4 combat superiority was unmatched. Downing over 100 MiGs during the conflict and cementing its position as a key combat aircraft of the Cold War. But as always, this wouldn't last. The fourth generation Soviet progress forged a new era in jet fighter technology. With the advent of the MiG-23 and 25, the United States Air Force needed a new weapon to keep up the F-15 Eagle. Entering service in 1976, this 50-year-old plane is still going strong. Designed with dual Pratt and Whitney F-100 jet engines, producing over 25,000 pounds of thrust each, the power of this monster is untouchable. First seeing combat in 1979 with the Israeli Air Force, this multi-role fighter has been used largely for air-to-air -air skirmishes, as well as ground attacks and in 1985, even shot down a satellite in space. Although posting an impeccable 104 to zero kill ratio in combat, she still had setbacks, mainly cost. At over 40 million a plane, the Chiefs needed something as effective, but much cheaper, and they found it. Awarding the contract to General Dynamics in 1975 for the F-16 Fighting Falcon a supersonic air superiority day fighter that excelled in dogfights. With only a single F-100 engine and frame size and weight half that of the F-15, the cost was also half. 
making her far more versatile and far more maneuverable. Sporting the new M61 Vulcan machine gun, firing over 6,000 rounds per minute, and an array of missiles and bombs, 71 kills have been confirmed by the Falcon. Although both are still used today, the latest generation is quickly bringing on their retirement. With the invention of stealth technology in the 80s and 90s, the new fighters are in a class of their own. First used on the F-117, stealth tech was perfected by the American Air Force. By using radar-absorbing paint, reflective angles and edges, and minimizing thermal exhaust, the detectable cross-sections of these jets are almost zero. Developing into the F-22 Raptor and F-35 Lightning and used by allies around the world, these modern era fighters dominate the current scene. But even these won't last forever. As times and technologies change, so do our fighter jets. Although still just a concept, the sixth generation is well underway. Focusing new developments away from aerial combat and towards space and cyber warfare, as well as unmanned aircrafts and advancements in AI technology, the next generation is still decades away.